we can now move to the cost of studying at L, uh, at NUS and the scholarship opportunities. So can you just walk us through how much does this entire thing cost uh, both in terms of the degree as well as living expenses in Singapore? Okay, uh, I'll share my again. Um, you don't have to I think this. Sorry, Harsh, I, I didn't catch that. Can you please repeat? I said I'm sharing my screen. Um, All right. You that, that's sharing. Just that. Okay. I had this as well somewhere open. Okay. So if you can see over here, um, I'll just let you know for Singaporean residents, as you can see, there's a different amount. Unfortunately, we're not Singaporean um, residents. So what we have over here is 35,650 Singaporean dollars. This is the tuition fees. Um, if you need a conversion, I'd say one dollar, one Singaporean dollar is around 50 rupees um, Indian. So you can get that conversion if you require that. Let's say 17 lakhs or so. I would say 20 lakh rupees. Ballpark 18 to 20 lakh rupees. Let's see. Um, I, I don't think it reaches 20, but okay, that's the first part. This is a tuition. Apart from tuition, um, there are particular living expenses. Uh, if you look at this over here, they give you a range, uh, which they give as 9,000 to 15,000 for 10 months. They don't give 12 months because it's only 10 months that you're going to be there. From August to May, I think, is what they will generally say. But um, as they've written over here, I think, rentals can vary widely. So let me give you an example of their university housing, which was College Green, which is a five minute walk from the university. If I remember correctly, I didn't get it. Not everyone gets it. I think it was around 1300 Singaporean dollars per month over there, which um, is quite a bit because NUS law is in the uh, prime location and the rental around it is quite costly. Um, of course, where I stayed as well was costly. I also paid, I think, around 1200 I think. Yeah, 1200 I think, I paid for my place. And my place was, I was sharing it with another family. So I had my own room, my bathroom, and we shared the living room and kitchen, uh, washing machine, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I'd say if you want to stay around the area, keep a range of, let's say, $1,300 per month. And apart from that, let's say to eat and transport and everything, I generally had my budget within $2,000 a month. I didn't want to exceed that at any cost. And I always used to be under the budget. Um, it's just that I like to have this number at the end of the day that, okay, I don't want to overshoot this at any cost. If there's anything that I really do need, I'll just do it next month. So I had that, but that being said, you can get cheap accommodation in Singapore. I had an offer that I rejected, which was, um, I think, around 40 minutes by the metro. Um, 40 minutes in a five-minute walk to campus. So 40 minutes metro, I think the um, price over there was 500 Singaporean dollars. So if people want, you can have all of your accommodations within $1,000 a month as well. But it all depends upon whether you want to travel that much um, and then go to your classes as well. So I do think it depends upon a few factors and you will find a range. You will find something for 500 as well. Uh, you will find something for 1500 if you want costlier as well. Of course, you'll find costlier. But, and also depends upon whether you want a private room. The $500 is also a private room. But if I share, let's say something, if I share a room in a hostel, that would inevitably be cheaper. So you can have look at hostels as well, I'd say. All right. So there are a few ranges attached to it, but based on the figures provided by you, just a quick back of the hand calculation says that it's around like 35 lakh rupees ca comes the, the total expense. Um, I'd say 30 because, yeah. Oh, wait, $2,000 is a lakh. So yeah, 30 lakhs, let's say, would be lakhs. an estimate. So tuition would be 20 and your others would be 10. So 30, oh, because you're staying for 12 months, you're staying there um, 10 months. Again, I think this is a question that will come, how long you can stay after as well. Depends yeah. upon person to person. I wanted to leave as soon as my uh, classes were done, but I was stuck there for two extra months, I think. So that oh. was extra for me. So, uh, 
think there was a talk about scholarships as well um, in this question itself. So the question was, and I'll just put it up again. 